welcome back to YouTube channel ni Janelo Villegas and if you were not able to subscribe yet please click subscribe hit that notification bell click all for more videos and update and so for today we will tackle on fingerprint pattern identification ridge counting and world tracing Okay, so good good day everyone. Um, I am making this recorded video for an alternative no, in the absence of the synchronous class. Hope this will help you in responding sa inyong lesson to na, um, assessment. So for today, we will discuss for fingerprint patterns. So the topic also will cover three families of fingerprint patterns, eight kinds of fingerprint patterns, ridge counting, and ridge tracing. So if you remember, last, meet, last week we were able to discuss focal points and how to find the um, pattern area, which also, uh, first we have to find the type lines in order to find the pattern areas. Then once we can locate, we had located the pattern area, then we can start finding the fo focal points, which is the plane arc, the tented arc, the ulnar loop, okay. we have plane arc and tented arc comes from the pattern of arches. So this is the first family pattern, ulnar loop and radial loop. Comes with another family pattern which is called the loop patterns. While plain whirl, central pocket whirl, double loop whirl, and accidental loop whirl comes from the patterns of whirls. So, in other words, uh, these arches, loops, and whirls are the so-called three family types of patterns. Types of fingerprint patterns. And the arches and the loops and whirls are devised or created, initiated by Frances Galton. You should remember that one. Si Frances Galton ang ga mugna ang mga um, family patterns. Okay. Now, as to the, the kinds of... Uh, so, from the three family patterns, every pattern has its breakdown. So, mo nang nahimong eight kay duha from the plane, duha from arches patterns, duha said from loop patterns, and then upat sa world patterns. So, kung na ay mga na ay, um, questions from the board exam, kung how many patterns are there in the fingerprint, then you should answer eight. But if it asks how many family patterns, so meaning general patterns, no, or general category of patterns, then we should answer three. If you will be asked how many patterns are there, then you should be ans you should answer eight. Kung wala lagi pang ang category. Okay. So I guess um, it is um, clear to your screen, no? And you can tell the difference between patterns but um, along with our presentations we will discuss each pattern's characteristics okay. so let us start with the loop loop by the way in chinese term it is called t which i have explained to you last 
meeting pa. And uh, of course, as to the essentials of a loop, or we, we should say elements of a loop, unsa may mga characteristics or components nga matawag nga loop ang usa ka pattern. So these are the characteristics or the components. They are most likely known as essential of a loop. No? Essentials of a loop, meaning what are those components that are or requirements that could considered as a pattern of a loop. So number one, it is a sufficient record. So as to the definition, it is that part of the recurving ridge between the shoulders of the loop and must be free from any appendage. So kung makakita mo o fingerprints, guys, having this pattern ka na, no? a sufficient recurving ridge, okay? A sufficient recurving ridge, those are what we call um, fingerprint pattern, uh, loop patterns. To correct. Hmm? This is, these are what we call loop patterns. Usa ni, ni siya sa mga, um, bitawag na to o characteristics. Atong lain-lain na ng color para nindot sa danahan sa inyong mata. Okay, now there is a uh, requirement, no? The ridge or the recurving ridge must be free from any appendage. Uh, so, must be free from any appendage. Meaning, dapat wala na'y nakasamok din ha, okay? Wala na'y nakabungkag din ha. It should be clean, no? It must be clean without any appendage. Then that is a loop patterns. Okay. So this is just one of the requirement. The sufficient record. Next requirement is the um, so-called... Okay. Nawag tang ang delta. So, number two essential is the delta. Now, you know already what is the delta as it was implied last meeting. Uh, now, delta is the outer terminus. So, at least... Okay, I'll just have to up, add up this one. Now, number two component is very important that there is a delta. There, you can recognize at least one delta, yeah. one delta on the pattern. Okay, na asay at least usaka delta and Remember, delta is considered that point on a ridge which can be found on the point of the divergence of the two type lines. So, nag-mention tag-type lines. Sa ang type lines, maunis siya. 
ang gitawag og type lines kanang ato ang gikoloran og yellow and then where is the delta kanang ato ang gi encircleran huh? so that is our delta so we have two requirements now first is sufficient curve second is the delta and then the third requirement is that there should be a ridge count now the ridge count should at least be three ridges and above now how to do the ridge count of course in doing the ridge count guys you should start with the uh, find the core no the technique on doing the ridge counting is find the core find the delta make an imaginary line in between so we will just trace the imaginary line here uh, my apologies kung hiwisha so treat that um red color kanang red din ha ngayon yung makita okay treat that red color na imaginary line when we say imaginary line uh, supposedly we are not allowed to mark we are not allowed to mark anything or to write anything on the sample specimen sample fingerprint so that is why we called it imaginary line kaysa actual ridge counting um, you will not write anything like what we are doing now so you have to determine the exact core and the exact delta so in this um, example we have our co our delta here and we also have our core they choice the, the choice is this one the core so this is the core i um marked it with yellow highlight so count the ridges in between do not include counting take note do not include in the counting the core and the delta wala siya labot ayaw siya kwintaha so ang imuhang kwintahon lang is the, the ridges in between so tanang mahagip din ha sa linya so in this case they have they were able to count 25 ridges um all in all so from this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, um, 25. And so um, it has been said na na ay 25 ka ridge count of this pattern. Now, that this one is 25. So technically, ning pasar siya sa pattern nga, nga loops, no? Sa gitawag na to o loops ning pasar siya sa gitawag na to pattern nga loops so what if dili siya mo tangkod og three ridges ma'am for example ang iyahang pattern is like this na asay kompleto nga delta na asay type line na asay sufficient recurve na na asay sufficient recurve so unsay mahitabo ani okay Okay. Mora ni siya, ma'am, ang, ang iyahang kwintada, no? So, what we will do is find the core and the delta. So, we treat this one as the shoulder of the loop. So, this will be your core. And this is the delta. Okay? And so, we will create an imaginary line. We will change the color for educational reason, no? for identification reason. So, I'm marking it. So, I have to trace from the core to its delta. Now, as I count it, 1 and 2 lang siya. Hmm? 1 and 2, what na ilain. So, can we treat this one as a loop pattern? Of course, no. This is not a loop pattern. Instead, we will treat this one as a tented arc. We will consider this one as tented arc. 
mahimo na na siyang tented or kay wala man siya kapasar sa requirements nga three ridges and above nga counting three ridges and above so uh, that is uh, the complete explanation on how to determine a loop pattern okay. i hope nakasunod mo so we will now discuss the kinds of loop uh, loops if you observed in the early presentation i have shown you the two kinds of loops we have the ulnar loop and um, as you can see, ulnar loop is given with a symbol of um, slant. No? Ang slant niya is um, to the right and then the slant here is to the left. Okay. Now, um, another uh, present or representation of an ulnar loop no? is capital U. And then another presentation of radial loop is capital R. Okay. So, ang ulnar loop, guys, is um, this is the flow of the ridges that gets towards the little finger. The flow of the ridges that gets towards the little finger. So, how how will you determine it na loop pattern na siya? Okay. So, if it's on the right hand, If it's on the right hand, guys, I'll just change the color again. Now, if it's on the right hand, normally, um, ulnar loop patterns. Excuse Sorry for that interruption. So now let us continue. Now for the right hand ulnar loop. Now, so if we will be talking about the right hand guys, because magkalain lain maguni sila when it comes to right hand and the left hand. Now for the right hand guys, ulnar loop, ang inyuhang timan an ana is ang iyahang location sa delta. Na? Ang location niya sa delta. Okay. Usually, for the ulnar loops, ang location niya sa delta is on the left side. Okay. So, it is usually on the left, left side. So, this is the delta. Na? So, this is the delta. Okay, it is usually located on the left left side. Kana kung naan sa right hand ang ulnar loop. But kung naan siya sa left hand, okay, arita sa left hand. Okay, now for the left hand, ingon ani imong makit an nga um, figure. As you can see, in the figure, no, as you can see in the figure, ang iyahang delta na asa um, right side. Okay. O niya, ang iyahang... Okay. So, timanan lang na ninyo ang positioning sa delta. If it's on the right hand and if it's on the left hand. Because ulnar loop, ulnar loop on the, uh, on the left, hand is the opposite no from the uh, right hand okay makita na ko ninyo so ang iyahang um positioning sa delta as you can see okay 
As you can see to it, ang iyahang delta is naasa left hand. Okay, mani ang delta. And... And na asya sa right hand. So, right right side ang iyahang delta. So, that is the position of the ulnar loop in the right hand and the um, ulnar loop in the left hand. Now, usually in the board examination, ang kasagarang magawas na symbol kay kani. Now, if it's on the right hand or, or the left hand, the symbol is always like this. I'm sorry, nahiwit. No? So, the symbol is always in ani. And then, for radial loop is Okay. So, I hope you get now the difference of an ulnar loop from the right hand compared to the left hand. So, we will go now to the radial loop. Now, for the radial loop, again, it's really different. Uh, it's really different, guys. Kay balina sad siya. Okay? Balina sad siya mahitabo. Because as you can, uh, sa previous na to, no? So, ato, as you can see it here, ang ulnar loop na sa right side. Kung na asya, ang delta na sa right side, kung na siya sa right hand. And yahang delta, kung na sa left hand, is left. And so, for the radial loop, is the opposite. Kung naasa right hand, kung naasa right hand, guys, ang um, iyahang pattern usually is, iyahang radial loop is naasa um, left na bahin. Okay, naa siya sa left nga bahin ang iyahang um, delta. So, this is his delta. Okay? Pero, kung naa siya sa left side, ang iyahang delta is naa sa... Kung naa siya sa left hand, bali. Left hand, no? Ang radial loop. Kung naa sa left hand ang radial loop, Ang iyahang delta kay naasa uh, mm, left side. So, mao ni ang iyahang delta. Okay. So, that is the difference. Now, you can compare now between the patterns of a radial loop and a ulnar loop. Patterns. Now, we will go to arches. Okay, arches pattern is very simple. You do not need to find delta core. No, because as you can see, you can you can never find wala kay makitaan nga delta or core sa arches because as the definition says or the de description of the arches, no, these are ridges inter from one side. Okay. These are ridges interns from one side. From one side or tend to flow out to the other side. Or wave at the center, no? With a wave at the center. So, as you can see it here, kaning a portion sa center niya. No, kaning a portion naka wave shag kurma. Okay. Maonay na hitabo sa plain art. So there's no need for you to find kung naaba siya um, delta or core as I have instructed in you sa previous na activity. Just leave it as it is. And so kung makakita mo pattern ngayon ani guys, you will just write A. Okay, 
you will just write A. Or capital letter A. Capital letter A. I repeat, if you find a plain arc, you write at um, pinakaubos, capital letter uh, A. Okay? So next is... Tented arc. Now, there are different types of tented arc, guys. So, this is the first um, type. Now, as you can see, compared to... Compared to the plain arc, ang tented arc ay medyo pa-up trust siya. And there is a... Uh, Usaka ridge na wala kalahos or wala ka continue o flow. Okay? So, there are three types of tented arc. By the way, if you can find a tented arc pattern, you will write a capital letter T. No? So, kung maka, makakita mo pattern sa nga delta sa ako ang ihatag na requirement, as ako ang ihatag na um, pattern, some uh, practice patterns, you will write letter T or capital letter T. Okay. Now, uh, just to give you an example for just to give you an example for a types of delta uh, types of tented arc. So, na ay 95 degrees. The first one is the 95 degrees na tented arc. Okay? So, on sa muna siya ng example. Okay? So, um, a flow of ridges. Okay, a flow of ridges from the first and then ning gawasar siya. But then, ang pinakas center niya is wala mo gawas. Na? Wala ka flow da yun. Okay? Na ay pinaka center ridge nga wala mo flow. So, it's like forming this one is forming Okay, this area here is forming a 90 degrees. Na makita ninyo. Na siya nag-form at the center. Na siya nag-form na mag Okay. Or a 90 degrees. Okay. So, nasa tigitawag o 45 degrees na... Um, tented arc, a 45 degrees tented arc is the same but must slope siya or must ang, ang, mas, uh, angular ang iyahang pattern. So let us say this is uh, no? or up trust. Okay, man itong gitawag o up trust. Gitawag na siya up trust pattern because of this one. <clears throat> this thing. And then na atay number three, which is I have explained it to you earlier, if the subject will not pass on the patterns of the uh, the patterns of the loop does not pass. as a loop patterns. 
So, unsa man na siya nga example. This is the example. Kadong na siya type lines. Nasa siya yung sufficient curve. Pero ang iyahang um, na siya yung sufficient curve, na siya yung curve, na siya yung type lines. But, locking of ridge gap. So, kuha nga siya bridge camp. No? So, that is another example of attempted part. Now, let's go to the patterns of words. Now, for the patterns of words, as you can see, it is more circular compared to um, other types of patterns. So, ang tawag di ay ani guys, kanang the circle din ha. That is what we called circuit. Okay. Kung ga straight lang na siya, ang tawag ana is rod. Okay, so ang kanang usa ka circle, usa ka complete turn, mao na siya gitawag og um circuit. So in world patterns, we have plane world, central packet world, double loop world and accidental world. So, let us start with the types of worlds. Now, for the plain world, it is represented by capital W. So, if you can find a world pattern such as plain world, you will write it as capital W. No? So, it has the, the requirements for a plain world. It has two deltas. Okay. Delta, as you can see now, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you the location of the delta, but I will uh, give you chance to determine asa gid ang delta anak nila. Now, how, are, how, how I was able to do so, uh, what we will do is to create an imaginary line again for an imaginary line. Okay, let us change the color. Uh, from the left delta to its right delta. Okay, so my apology if delicious straight, no? So let us just say that's the, um, the imaginary line, no? From the left delta to... So, from the left delta to the right delta. So, as you can see, once there will be at least one circuit that is touching, no? So, from... So, at least one circuit, one full circuit nga matouch ang... Um, gitawag na to og imaginary line, then you can consider that one as your... Uh, that means that this is a plain world. Now, if you found a plain world, then you must write it with W. Okay, so next is the central packet world. Now, the, uh, the central packet world is more easy to identify when it comes to the shapes, although they are somewhat similar because they are like circular, you know, nag, nag circle said siya in a circular form. But in a central packet, if you will trace from the uh, right delta to its left delta, let us say, right delta to its left delta and then you will trace and you will provide an imaginary line again from the left 
from the right delta to left delta, as you can see, all of the lines nga ang imuhang mahit, all of the lines are not in circular. No? Dili siya circular movements. Okay? So that is, if there is no, um, at least one ridge making a complete circuit, no? Has two delta and... Uh, okay, naani na sayo. Okay. So at least not one ridge making a complete circuit, which may be spiral or oval or a circular. So not one ridge. No? And you can consider it as a central packet. Now for the central packet world, you will give it with capital letter C. So if you can see a central packet world, um, ang ubusana, you will write capital letter C. Okay. Now, um, let's go to, so this is the, the difference between a plain world and a central packet world. So I guess uh, it, this figure could help you or this photo could help you. No? So this is an imaginary line as you can see to it, a circular in motion nga, nga ridges no atong na hit but here no circular in motion wala siya okay so wala miski usa okay and so this is for the differentiation between a plain world pattern and a central packet world pattern. So remember the symbols. For plain world pattern, you have to write W. For the central packet, you have to write letter C. Now, in the double loop world. So it's, it, it forms like a world, guys. However, um, yahang loops, no? Uh, ang, ang, it, it has a double loop, so connecting loops. Now, in a pattern to be considered as a double loop world, at least you have to find at least one ridge connecting to uh, informing a double loop world. So here we will find a pattern which is connecting, forming a double loop world. So let us check kung naaba tayo makita din eh. So okay, this one, this is good enough as a double loop world. So, mura siyang nagpurma o S. Na? So, I'll trace it with highlighter again for your um, clear vision. Ano? Clear nga yung makita. So, that's it. And the same thing, it has two deltas because the, the characteristic of a world is it always has a two delta. Okay. A characteristic of a world, it has a two delta. So how to find the delta? Of course, you need to find the so-called um, parallel lines. No, a parallel line. So this is the parallel lines here. And also here, this is the parallel lines. Okay. Wala yun nga in between. No? So this is the tight line here. Wala yun nag-samok din ha. Okay, and then this is the divergence. So that is what we call the type lines. No? So in the type lines, in the divergence of the type lines, I repeat, you can find there the delta. Okay. So for the double loop world, you should only write D. Okay. You should only write D. Okay, let us go to the accidental world. Now for the accidental world, uh, basta duha or tulok ka patterns. Okay? Duha or tulok ka patterns. So, magunahan na lang ka ng walo ka buok, except, except, like, except sa plain R. No? So, sa pito ka buok patterns nga imuha siyang um, iusa. Nga makita siya sa usa ka finger nga, na ay duha or tulok ka pattern, then that is considered accidental world. Pero, if, for example, na ay, uh, na ay plain world, 
And then ang usa is a plain arc, then that is not considered as accidental because it is clear here, nagiingon, um, two different patterns, exception for plain arc. No? Except ang plain arc type. So, di siya makonsidered nga Pat, uh, di siya ma-considered na definite pattern na ma-considered as accidental. So, pwede plain whirl and ulnar loop, plain whirl and central pocket, plain whirl and uh, radial loop. So, ingon ani, baga, no? For example, just have to write here. Okay. So, if this is uh, the pattern, ah, maghimo ta og kaan. No example of accidental patterns. Okay, example of accidental patterns. Now, for the accidental patterns, guys, if you can find it, then you must write X. No? So, what are the examples of accidental patterns? Let us say this is the type lines of a pattern. This is a delta. This is technically a plane world. And then we have here the, let us say, a loop pattern. No? Then a delta here. Okay. So that is an example of an accidental pattern A. Now for the B, if it's a let us say a loop pattern again. And then and a central bucket. Okay. No? So we have here we have the pattern of a central packet and then a loop. We have here a loop pattern and then a plane worm. So this is considered as um, X and X. Now there are also patterns, guys, with three delta. Now possible na siya, and that is still considered as a um, accidental pattern. Now if you have question, you can drop your comments on new LMS or Teams uh, or message me directly to the messenger. I know you have my messenger, so pwede na ninyo siya na. Pwede ninyo for clarification. And as much as possible, I will reply the soon as possible time na ma-receive na ko ang inyuhang um, message. Okay. So for the last topic is the world tracing. Now for the world tracing, guys, Gamiton lang ni nato siya for um, world patterns. Now, ang reach counting, gamiton nato siya sa loop patterns. Okay, so for world tracing the eye, natin kita wag of inner, outer, and meeting. Okay, I repeat, inner, outer, and meeting. Now, di ba mag-reach count ta sa mag-reach count ta? If, if we wanted to know if it's a loop pattern and if so siya, siya ang pinakalas nga identification ng loop pattern siya kay kung mupasar o 3 ridge count then it is considered as the um, uh, a loop pattern okay. so balik na gamay na before tamo continue aning sa world tracing balik na gamay aning sa delta ah, sa Sa loop patterns, by the way. So, kung, kung ma-determine mo siya, nga ulnar siya, guys. Okay. 
sa ulnar pattern di ay ko ma-determine mo siya nga ulnar siya no so what you will do is you write u and then dash and you will count the del the reach count in between no from the from the core and the delta so 1 2 3 4 okay we have 4 so you will write here 4 or pwedeng ingon ani nimo pagkasawat kanan siya so the same thing we will count it here then trace the delta okay make an imaginary line so 1 2 3 and 4 so remember do not count the the core and the delta so we will use this as 4 or you can write it like this now pwedeng mulapas no pwedeng mulapas ang ridge count basta di lang siya maubos of 3 kay kung maubos siya 3 ang uh, mahitabo dili na siya considered as loop pattern now the same thing with this one with the radial if we will count this radial from the core to its delta no this one at uh, this one this one is the core so we will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have ridges 7 or we can write this like this r 7 so that is for the loop patterns kung mag ridge count ka. so let's go for the um world tracing so on sound the pag world tracing na so ang world tracing guys ang buhat na na niya is mura gyap siya ridge count pero tawag lang niya kay world tracing na so from ang ang instruction was from Okay, so from the left delta to the right delta, okay, how it is being done. Okay, I'll prepare for an explanation, Annie. I may borrow this one, copy. We could have, okay, an example of Okay, so this is an example of an inner tracing. No? Example of inner tracing. Okay. An example of inner tracing. So technically, this is a pattern. This is a pattern of double loop. So magsawat ka din hag D. Okay. So unsa may tracing niya. No? So what we will do is just highlight na to na ara di iyahan delta so from the delta you we will trace down no so i trace lang ni nato ang adjacent ridge until we can find the the right delta so for me i can see here now the right delta which is technically a bifurcation so this is his this uh, this pattern has a bifurcation no so mo ni iyahan delta Okay. As I can see to it, uh, makita na na ako ang, um, no, from, from tracing. Nag-trace ko din here from left delta, flow, following the ridges, tracing the ridges, and then I stop because nakita na na ako ang iyahang right delta. So I stop it there, I'll mark it. I'll mark it. No? And then I will count the ridge in between between the space or the, the point where I stop and the delta. So, ridges in between. Magbuhat ko imaginary line din, ha? So, I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I have 5 counts here. So, um, this is considered inner. Nga naman, kinaaraman ang delta diri, guys. Ang iyahang delta ba? No? Ang delta... 
nahug og iyang gisaud nahug og iyang gisaud ning ridges in between nahulog ni iyang gisaud mo nang gitawag og inner so three ridge just in between and above ma considered siya og inner kana kung gisaw siya sa delta na sulod siya sa delta okay so this tracing is considered inner so mangita tag tracing nga outer so this is an example of an inner tracing mangita tag outer nga tracing Okay, here, kani kani. Okay. Okay. So, I hope outer ni siya. Okay. So, outer tracing. Okay. So, outer tracing, guys. The same, the same um, protocol or the same procedure, we will find the left delta and check for the right delta. Okay. I can see to it, this is for me, is the right delta. No? As you can see, ang iyang type lines, tara, money yang type lines. Okay. So, ato na siyang pangitaon. Okay, we will perform. We will find the the left delta, uh, the left delta traced it down onya na putol man na sa tong buhaton mo transfer ta dire gi trace na sa na nato ning down ta ning transfer ta dire until such time matumong nato ang right delta so as you can see it here matumong naman nato ang right delta nara man ang right delta so maghimo tag imaginary line mo nang importante mo gamit og ruler guys kani kay wala mtay ruler so sabta na lang ninyo ha pasensya isi ma'am kaya to ning panigamutan nga mas straight Arrow option ka ha? Kaya ito yung panikamutan nga mas straight, no? So, from the... From this one to this one, I'll make an imaginary line nga straight. As you can see, guys, ang ato ng growing on, ang, ang right delta, ingon na na iyang kurma. Ang iyang left delta na adresa, ubos, gaway. So, ang um, mga uh, linya din ha, in between, no? So, makitaan man na nato nga ang linya in between, naram na itong tracing diri da pita. Okay? So, technically, ningawas na gawas siya sa, sa ridge Uh, sa delta, sa, uh, sa right delta, mata na siyang i-trace. Ang mga lines na na siya, nararaman diri ang right delta. So, ang mga lines, ninggawas siya sa right delta. So, kung ato nang i-trace din ha, ato ng kwintahon pila na karidya. So, kung kwintahon ta ni diri, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, So, ito ang isawat din yung central packet world without tracing. Central packet world without tracing. Okay. So, mangita na sa tag meeting. Okay. For the meeting tracing, guys. Gani. Example niya sa meeting at tracing. Okay.
Okay, for a meeting tracing, meeting. For a meeting tracing, it's really simple. From the left delta to right delta, and ignaog ni mo din ha, dadon galika directly to, no, from left delta to right delta. Inigdaog ni mo, ginitrace ni mo sa line, immediately ihatod ka niya sa delta. Okay, this is plain word. That is meeting. Another requirement for meeting is wala kaabot, for example, sa inner nga possible tracing, duhara ang iyahang ridges, kunya sa outer nga tracing, duhara sad ang ridges niya in between then that is considered meeting. Considered siya nga meeting, guys. So, at wala niyong tarungan. So, what? No? So, here, ang ato ang isuwat din he is capital letter M. Dili siya pwedeng small letter M. Di isa siya pwedeng pinakatay nga M. So, it should be like this one. W, because this is plain world, and with a meeting tracing. And so, that's the... Um, wrap up for the in the discussion sa ato ang fingerprint patterns including sa gitawag na rich county and um, world tracing. So I hope you will be guided with this one.